Hi students, this is A. Manri Kumar Rajesh. In this video, we are going to discuss the topic called zoophily. Zoophily means the pollination takes place by animals and the flowers pollinated by animals and that flowers are said to be zoophilus flowers. So zoophily means pollination takes place by animals and the flowers are said to be zoophilus flowers. Then the animals includes birds, insects and bats can bring about pollination effectively. Birds, insects and bats can bring about pollination effectively. Of this, insects are well adapted to bring about pollination. Among these, insects are well adapted to bring about pollination. Zoophily pollination animals pollination Then bats, insect and bats can bring about pollination. Pollination can help this insects are well adapted. The pollination So insects are well adapted to bring about pollination. Then larger animals like primates, they are called as lemur. So lemurs are uh, called as in Tamil uh, narival. It contains a fox face. The the lemur slightly. Primates like lemur. Then arboreal rodents. So arboreal means the creature living trees. Arboreal nale and the animal trees Rodents includes squirrel. So the rodents squirrel Then uh, reptiles like Zego lizard, then garden lizards can also bring about pollination. That is why they are also reported as they are also have been reported as pollinators. So, upon the primate, the lemur, arboreal rodents. The zigo lizard and garden lizard also can bring pollination. They are act as pollinators. Then this zoophily again subdivided into zoophily again subdivided into four types. They are Orinthophily, Entomophily, Kyrioptyraphily, then the fourth one is Malacophily. Upon in the zoophily, again divide one row, enava, orinthophily, entomophily, kyrioptyrophily, malacophily. First, I am going to tell about orinthophily. Orinthophily means the pollination takes place with the help of bats. So, in the orinthophily, na, pollination on the mulama narakade, bats mulama narakade. I give you some example. Hummingbird. Hummingbirds and honey eaters can feed on 
nectars of the plea sorry the plant or tree called bignonia bignonia so the hummingbird oh, the honey eater so can feed on nectars of the plant bignonia then the larger flower called sterlitzia sterlitzia it comes under the family musaceae and these flowers are called as bats of paradise flower bats of paradise flower are crane flowers or crane flowers so ninga idu pathinga na oru parava maari irukum the sterlitzia abingiradhu oru larger flower they are otherwise called as bat bats of paradise flower or crane flower so this sterlitzia reginiae and that flowers are pollinated by the honey eater bird called nectariana afra appo in the sterlitzia reginiae abingra or flower yaar pollinate pandra with the help of a bird called nectariana afra abingra or honey eater bird vandu enna pannudhu pollinate pannudhu seringla then erythraina and bombax bombax sibia appdi solluvanga erythraina indica appdi solluvanga tamil la in a binomial name uh, for uh, kalyana murungi appdi solluvanga seringla that is erythraina indica in our area we have a plenty of trees called erythraina indica and bombax sibia bombax sibia is otherwise called as in tamil ilavamanji maram solluvanga so these trees are often visited by crows and maina crows and maina and these birds are helpful in the pollination so for the erythraina and bombax mori or bombax sibia elavamanji maram seringla the marathla yaar often visit pandra the crows and maina and they help in pollination seringla so these are the some of the examples the bird which visited the flowers are the trees now i am going to tell about the characteristic features of ornithophilus flowers let us discuss the characteristic features of ornithophilus flowers first the flower should be large in size then only the bats can visit the flower and they are able to insert their beak and they are able to feed on the nectar which is provided by the flowers at that time only the pollen grains are dusted on the beak of the bats and they are transferred or transmitted to other plants or carried by the bats beak and that may again insert its beak into other flower at that time pollination takes place so the flower should be larger in size seringla who and the person then only it can insert it peak adha peak adha adha enna panna ivlo odi appo na enna agum nectar edukumbodhu unknowingly pollen und enna agum dust agum edhula and the peak la appo adhe and the peak la enna irukum pollen grains irukum thirupi innor flower la and the peak insert pannumbodhu that pollen grains can deposit on the stigma of the other flower appo pollination ku enna agum useful a irukum so the flower should be larger in size then the flowers are tubular cup shaped and or an shape so and the peak insect pandra alavukku insect pandra alavukku and the flower undey eppadi irukum tubular a irukum for example for example i am telling the dendrometer so that flower has a long tubular structure a flask shape a long tubular corolla seringla appo andha maari irundha da it can easily insert its peak appo the flowers are tubular cup shape or an shape seringla then the flowers are brightly colored the flower should be brightly colored then only it can attract the bats so the flowers are brightly colored red scarlet pink orange blue and yellow which attracts the bats so for colorful la irundha da the flower can attract the 
bulbs. Then the flowers are scentless. They don't have any fragrance, but they produce nectar in large quantities because that is the reward for the visitors. So, and the nectar in the other bats in our own visit per day. Upon nectar, they come with it. Pollen rain and I know transfer. I know so produce nectar in large quantities. Pollen and nectar form the floral rewards. So, on the poor visit per day, they are going to get rewards in the form of pollen and nectar for the bats visiting the flowers. That is why they have produced large amount of nectars. Then Floral pots are tough and leathery to withstand the powerful impact of the visitors. So the flower should withstand the impact of visitors. That is why they are tough and leathery. So bats on the ukkar no, all of them they no honey bee. Sorry, nectar. Edikano. So upon the flower on the bee no tougher, no stronger no, and it can withstand. And the call like that all they are not withstand no. So that is why they are. Leathery. So these are the characteristic features of Orinthophilus flowers. Now I am going to tell about Kiriopterophily. Kiriopterophily means the pollination takes place by bats. Vowal munama naragdan the pollination, and that pollination is called as that process is called as Kiriopterophily. Then the flowers have some adaptations. The Kiriopterophilus flowers have some adaptation. That flowers can produce large quantities of nectar. The flowers can produce large quantities of nectar, and they have to bloom on night because bats are nocturnal animal. Night da na ho very over. So that flowers has to bloom on night. So it has to bloom on night. Then it provides a specific fragrance. It emits a specific fragrance. That fragrance is named as a rotten smell. Seringla rotten fragrance ena pono emit pono that flowers. Then only it can attract that bats. Seringla on the wa on the fragrance mandho ne on the bats na mo attract towards that flowers. So they produce large quantities of nectars and they have to. That flowers has to bloom on night, and they are they emit a specific fragrance that is a rotten smell. Then only it is attracted by it is attracted towards that flower. Chengla. Then that flower has to large. That flower has to large and tough. Apna da the birds on and the bats on the karam bojha. Adal ena pono mudiyo withstand pono mudiyo. The impact of that visitor ena pono mudiyo withstand pono mudiyo. So that flower has to large. So that's all about Kiriopteru. For the example, when the people think na, Kajala, Africana, then Adansonia digitata. So, you know, example for Kiriopteru for the one day, na, you can think na, Kajala, Africana, then uh, Adansonia digitata. The next one is malacophily. Malacophily means the pollination takes place by snails or slugs. Slugs. So, in class, snails have that shell. Slugs don't have that shell. That difference. The snail on the nattey on the padhinga cool or come slugs on the they don't have that covering that shell. So, in class, they are called as slugs. So snails and slugs are involved in that pollination, and that pollination is called as malacophily. Chering la, especially the family Araceae. That Araceae flowers, that Araceae family members flowers are pollinated by snails and slugs. Example, lemna. The lemna flowers are pollinated by snails. So the lemna flower line, na how did you think? The snail on the na how crawl up at that time. That pollen grains are transferred from one flower, one uh, flower to another flower. Sharing la. So that pollination is called as malacophily. Then another one pollination called ophiophily. 
ophiophily means the pollination takes place with the help of snakes with the help of snakes so snakes also comes under reptiles and that pollination is called as ophiophily so the snakes are helpful in pollination example santalum example santalum album alba so the chandana marun solvaangala the chandana marathula vande pollination yaroda udaviyal nadakudhu snakes oda udaviyal nadakudhu and that pollination is called as ophiophily so we have lot of uh, pollination process in the next video i am going to tell about endomophilus there is endomophily and endomophilus flaws and that uh, at that time i will give you the different types of pollination process so that's all about today's video if you have any doubt regarding this topic please let me know thank you very much for watching this video thank you